This thing is growing. Oh my god. What the f is going on right now? It's f growing. Oh my god. It's doing it again. What is that? How's it going, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. Last episode, we tried to explore the lava biome, or the inactive lava zone, by entering the giant cave opening in the bottom of the Grand Reef. Now, we got inside, but we didn't have enough oxygen to actually go around and explore because the cave opening is just the opening, and it takes forever to get down there. It was super creepy, extremely quiet. I think there was music playing at one point, and it stopped, and it freaked me out way too much, but most of you guys are saying that there's nothing down there. There hasn't been any creature implemented that is supposed to be alive down there. And yes, a lot of you guys were saying as well that it wasn't the Sea Dragon Leviathan that was in the trailer for the game. It was the Sea Emperor that was in the trailer. But nonetheless, the Sea Dragon Leviathan is going to be what's in the lava zone, I think. If, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's the Sea Dragon. Even if there isn't, I would still love to explore it because I haven't actually got to see the details of it. And I know that there's a castle in there somewhere. But I haven't found it. So, as it stands, we have no power in the Cyclops. And I do not have enough oxygen to explore around, so my only option is to go back to the surface and uh, try to get some power cells made. Because I was thinking to myself, I just need a power cell. That's all I need to do. Go to Fabricator, make one. But, of course, we need power for that. Duh. Uh, so, and I don't have any laying around. I thought I did. Looked around, but I don't. So, we're going to have to hopefully make it on 345 seconds of oxygen to the top. If I get lost, I'm pretty much screwed. I think the Cyclops will power my, or give me enough oxygen by coming in here. That's the plan for the episode. We're going to try to go up, get some power cells, bring it back down here. We're going to bring the Seamoth with us. Um, and that way we can use the Seamoth to go a little bit further into the cave entrance because it's not actually breaking the crush depth yet. So... We should be fine with that. But let's go ahead and get out of here and go straight up. And also, guys, thank you so much for your support in the last video. I really appreciate all the engagements. My deal is, if we can reach 1,200 likes on this video, I'll release another Subnautica video in a different theme tomorrow. I had an idea of what I want to do with the game alongside my survival series. If you enjoy the video or you just want to see it, be sure to leave a like. It goes a long way, and I very much appreciate it. Oh, God. Is this what it does? That is super obnoxious, and I'm very sorry about that. Wow, look at this. We may not make it. We may not make it, guys. I might have to die. I might have to die. Oh, nope, there's there's some top. Yeah, I'm very sorry about that noise. I'll make sure to turn that down, but uh, basically... See the way it's working? Actually, it's funny, because it got updated. Now it's worse than it was before. It would actually start to turn on because of my swim charge fins and then stop, but now it's, like, continuously going up. We're going to make it. We're going to make it easily, actually. Where's the sea moth? Let me head towards that area. Okay. So there's the escape pod and Seamoth in that direction. Man, this is creepy. Super dark. Sorry if you guys can't see anything. And again, I apologize for the noise. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were directly underneath the uh, floater islands here. Oh, we made it to the top. I thought it was going to be way worse. I was afraid I was just going to get lost in the cave and not be able to make it back. But, you know, I'm pro at this game by now. So, Okay, so here's to hoping we don't run into a Reaper on the way back. I would love to... Oh, what's this? Maybe I can collect some items on the way back. So this is actually... Whoa, those lights. What the hell? It's like a block of green. Okay, so I need acid mushrooms and copper. You guys got copper in here? Yes, you do. Fantastic. I just make a bunch of power cells. I don't know if that's enemy or not. Oh, I can't stand that noise anymore. Jesus. Here we go. I'm safe, so I'm not worried about it. So it's going to be good going back to the mountain island biome, just because I can get, gather some fish and water. Um, I need more water filtration systems going, so that way when I come back, I can get like 10 of them. Because they stop producing them as they get full, which is, it kind of sucks. That giant-ass machine can only produce one, like, little thermos of water. It kind of sucks. There's more of the deep, deep, uh, of the Grand Reef right there. Man, this is creepy. It's a creepy ass game. Holy shit, look at my arm. Jeez. It is bent all in the wrong places. What am I, some kind of contortionist? Can we fix this? That looks, that's horrible to look at. Oh yeah, this is the spiky area. I actually built one of my first bases over there and I think I streamed building a base over there too. That's awesome. I don't need that titanium. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. I got plenty of titanium, guys. Plenty. I need a ton of uh, copper right now because I need to make six power cells for my Cyclops, have some backups for the Seamoth, and then also for my annoying Sea Glide right now. 
wonder what I can make the power glide. I don't think it's implemented just yet, but that'd be nice to get a hold of that. And I'm trying out a new recording setup, so be sure to let me know if it looks worse or better or no difference at all, because if it's no difference at all, that'd be super fantastic. Ah, there's my beauty. My beautiful escape pod I haven't seen in God knows how long. Did I ever open this? Pretty sure I did not. Oh, look at that. I got a battery already. Okay, so I'm gonna put away some of these tanks because I just need to gather some uh, acid mushrooms. Okay, inventory full. I think... I think that's gonna be enough, maybe. I don't know. I think I got more than eight total, but we'll be fine. Nothing in there ever. Alright, let's make some batteries. And then we're going to need quartz for silicone rubber. Which I have a bunch of in the Cyclops, but I'm certainly not going all the way back there to do that. Let's just make a bunch of these. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, add one to our sea glide right here, because that's super annoying. Let's make up the rest of the batteries first, and then I'll make up some power cells. I wish I could take them out of here, because these are like self-charging power cells. I don't know how that works. I guess it takes from the heat? Self-charging power cell. Oh, I guess it's solar. We're actually running out of power. Okay, I want to save a few batteries, too. So let's make two silicone rubbers and the glass. So we can make... Oh, we have glass at the house. There's no There's no point. The house. <laughs> on the, the glow boater. Glow boater! Um, I think... Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's make some power cells. Just make a bunch. How many more batteries do I have? One... To, I can make t I'll make two more power cells just to be safe and then keep two batteries on me that way I can refill the sea moth and also my sea glide in case I need to because I'll be able to go farther than the sea moth which is a strange strange thing let's take the magnesium and all this stuff oh man how, what am I gonna do get rid of the titanium I don't need it and the salt deposit all right so I almost died just now but Look at all this. This is what I've made so far. I got four power cells. Um, I don't know what happened to the batteries. Oh, do they automatically fill in? Damn it. What did it recharge? I hate that. I don't like how the batteries get used up uh, automatically. I do not like that at all. Because I had two extra batteries and now they're gone. Got extra silicon rubber, but yeah. So, well, there's some power cells. I might need to take another battery with me, but maybe not. Just because, um, just because, let me drop these. Just because, um, I can use the swim charge fins. I know it's annoying, but, uh, magnesium, silicon rubber, you can all stay in here. I really don't even care. I need that power cell. Why do you keep confusing me? Oh, yeah, and by the way, I made this. This is the coolest thing ever. Uh, this is an LED light, which I have equipped here. Uh, which acts as a portable light that you can place anywhere. Uh, well, anywhere it'll allow you to. I think it's only on the ground. Where's all my food? Are you kidding me? Oh, I am so boned. Where the hell did all the food go? Or all the... <laughs> I know, I'm demeaning them by calling them food. I mean Reginald. Where the hell are they? The acid mushrooms are still... The oh, oh, they're finally swimming. ho, <laughs> ho, 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 ho. The mother load. Oh my god. Seriously? Do you guys see how many Reginald are in here? That's amazing. I meant to go up all here anyway. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous place. All right, let me get some uh, damn Reginald. Bring it on in here. I'm going to cure a few of you. I'll cure three of you guys because I need to eat. Well, no, nah, I don't need to eat one of you right now. Just keep reproducing, guys. Keep having this, this sexy fish sex and, uh, and uh, making me proud. All right, let's use the fabricator to make some fish. We should be good to go. And then we're gonna head back with the sea moth to uh, retrieve the cyclops by using the power cell. I mean, I might, yeah, I'll save two power cells. I think a few will be enough for me to get there and then explore the lava biome and then come back out. As long as uh, there's nothing in there that's gonna eat me. It has the diving stuff in it, right? Does it? I can't remember if I put it on there. It looks like it has storage containers. Oh, that's right, I didn't make them. Fuck, I'm gonna have to make those. What do I need for that? What is this again? Dive deep. Plasteel ingot. And computer chips. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a bitch, man. Well. Great. I'm gonna store these away so I have room. 
And I'm gonna go back out and collect, and I'll be back. Don't worry about it, guys. You don't have to watch any of this crap. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. I need one more. Come on. This is the most obnoxious shit I've ever had to deal with. Dude, look at that. That looks creepy that way. All right, just one more coral sample, please. I think I have the perfect fit right now. I've already done made all this. I think I have everything. There's that, the two here, the two quartz that go with. I might need more quartz. How do I know? How do I know? Let's let's go ahead and make some stuff since I'm over here anyway. I went all the way back over here because I'm dumb. And uh, I barely any oxygen, so it was very hard to scavenge some of these items. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. Where the fuck is the skate pod? All right, let's go ahead and make some of this stuff up here. Yes, so just one. Okay, we can make two computer chips. Um. Uh, I'm gonna need more than that, I think. I'm gonna need four computer chips, technically. Yeah, so I'm gonna need more. Great. Great. Turn all this into titanium, which I think I can then turn into titanium ingots. Uh, I thought I was done. I lied. Okay, so we can get two of them now. We just need to get two more silver, two more quartz, and four more of the coral sample. Damn it. Wait, why did I have an extra titanium ingot? Did I need all that? I think, uh, I think I'm an idiot. Okay, and... That should be four. Thank fucking God. I am sick of this. Uh, how many computer chips did I actually make? I have three. Okay, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> what am I doing? I got all this extra shit for what? Why do I keep trying to make five? Did I need five? Maybe I need five. Maybe I just don't remember that I need five. Forget that, I'm warping. I warped back here. I'm not traveling all the way back. I don't have time for- I might as well get all this stuff. Hi. Let me take your stuff. Are you filling up another one? Is that what that means? Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll give you- I'll give you time to figure it out. But we got water for days. You got one? Nope, it's just doing it. Okay. Let's put all this stuff away. I'll, I'll take two of those. And then two Reginalds, just in case. I'll take the lights. Uh... Put away titanium. I think I need all this. No, I don't need the extra lithium or the titanium ingot. There's the plasteel ingots for them. I think that's all I need. I hope I don't need more computer chips. I can't- I forgot because I've been spending all this time searching for this shit. Please. Don't do me wrong. Good. Just one each. Okay, one. Two. Three. And four. Sweet. This makes me happy. Now we're done with this. Oh no, come on! Well, you're charged anyway, right? You're at 100 health? Good. Let's go ahead and get out. Put in your, uh, upgrades. Take these out. And put these bad boys in. This should... make it so... Boom. It'll say it eventually. 725. Crush depth 825. Safe depth is 925. Okay, so I can go 25 meters deeper with it. So that's not bad. Inventory secured. Okay. Let's go ahead and secure our inventory by putting away all this shit that we don't need. Um, I'll take the other cured Reginalds and the other water. Yeah, and then I'll put away these extra stuff. This should be good. I don't need that. Uh, or the table coral samples. Um... Four power cells should do it. It should do it. And I only have room for literally- oh, I gotta e actually eat some of this stuff. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so we have four extra slots in case we need to carry anything. Alright. I think we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to the place. And hopefully it won't be destroyed by then. So we have to go down to get out. God, this is so fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut until we get to the Cyclops. All right, here is the Globe Boater. Now, I'm gonna wait to put on the, uh... the power cells to it, because I think- oh, wow. Danger Jet Blast? I've never seen that before. Was that always there? That's cute. Anyway, okay, so we're going to... <sighs> Where is the Lava Zone? I'm pretty sure it was somewhere... I thought I was deeper than this. You know what's very strange? I could have sworn. 
I could have sworn that it said 800 and something meters. Was I mistaken when I saw that at the very beginning? I swear it said 800 something. Maybe it was a glitch. I don't know. So that's the opening. It should be around here somewhere. I think if I go... Maybe over here. But we actually are doing really well on energy. Surprisingly. Um, we're only at 73% after traveling all the way here. I think this is it. This might be it. Yes. Okay. So. We are ready, guys, to go and explore the lava biome. Sorry it took so long, but uh, this should be really fun. What the hell's over here? Oh, more lava. Cool. Yeah, there's a. this is the giant entrance to it. Okay. Now, what I want to do, essentially, is not die. Oh, I need my welder. Whoa! What the fuck? Did that just spawn? Whoa, is this like some kind of creature egg? What is this? It's a rock, certainly, but it's it's floating. Whoa! Whoa, what is happening? This thing is growing. What is this? Guys? Uh this thing is growing. Oh my god! What the fuck is going on right now? It's fucking growing. Please don't be. I'm gone. I'm just going to go explore. I don't want to see it. I don't want to look at it. Oh, I, I totally want to look at it. What is it doing? Is it gone? It just disappeared. Oh my god. It's doing it again. What is that? Is that supposed to be just lava coming out and then hardening? I hope so. Jesus. Oh, I'm gone. So gone. Not ready for this. All right. I don't need my welder. I'll be fine. As long as I don't go past my crush depth, I'm not going to need my welder. Um, and I got all my oxygen, so I'm good. 345. I got some uh, water and food. I want to find the castle if I can. And as I mentioned, the, uh, the sea dragon leviathan is going to be what's in the lava. I'm pretty sure the lava biome. Uh, the trailer showed the Sea Emperor, which is a totally different creature, which is going to be much larger. But, uh, apparently they built a pit in the lava biome, uh, that is where the Sea Dragon is going to spawn. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure if it's implemented yet, but apparently they were working on the biome for it, so... Hopefully we'll be able to see that. Now, the game has apparently been in a state where... I no longer have to change saves. Anything that's been updated will be updated into the game right away. Um, I don't know about biomes, though. Generally, that's the terrain is what keeps you from playing the same thing again. I'm already creeped out again. Okay, so the lava, is it a cave? What is it? Oh, my God. Okay, so we're getting really close to our, yeah. Really close. Really close to the end. I can't see shit. Let's just go down a little bit more. A little bit more. 1,025 will be it. And then it's crush depth from there. Okay. I think we're good here. I'm going to go ahead and get out. We have 60% energy on this, and we have tons of power cells. We'll be fine. I got a full battery for my Sea Glide, too, so... When we run out, I probably should head back, because it's going to be annoying otherwise. Oh, my God. Do you see this, guys? It is a straight shot down, almost 1,200 meters, and I hear rumbling now, okay. So this is kind of what I expected it to sound like. Okay, so that's the bottom. Is this just the end of it? I want, I really want to find, like, the cave and such. I'm going to take a look at the, the terrain map here. It's not really, this is a very flat land right there. I have no idea how deep, okay, that looks like the bottom. We might be at the bottom. Not getting any light sources here. It's very dark. And yeah, the music keeps coming and going. I don't know how I feel about it. At all. But I want to find this pit where apparently the, the sea dragon's supposed to spawn. I don't even know if... I'm going to have to use warp me. I mean, I could just travel back. But, uh... I don't want to die, you know. I don't even know if Warp Me... Warp Me is only for the Cyclops bases, not necessarily for the, uh... Seamoth. Oh my god. But I can get this far again. It's definitely possible. So maybe I can Warp Me back to the Cyclops, 
and then come out to um, the sea moth again. But then again, I don't know if the sea cyclops is going to replenish my oxygen. I could put my pa power cell in there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll do that. That's the plan. Okay, I am going very far. I ha <laughs> There's literally nothing out here. I know I didn't expect much. It's pitch black. Literally, I can't see anything. I can only see a little bit of the terrain around me. And that's pretty much it. Is this it? Is this the whole lava? I mean, it's supposed to be inactive, remember? Inactive lava zone. I'm clipping through the bottom here. And this, it looks like it's... Oh, nope. Okay, we're heading back to the Cyclops. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to find other things. Okay. Here we go. Oh, man. Alright, I have a little over two minutes to explore. Oh, sweet. This looks good. I don't know what... Okay. Oh, did we find the castle? We may have found the castle, guys. I think we found- yeah, we found the castle! <gasps> this is awesome! It's not fully developed as it was in the concept art, but this is essentially the- the castle part of the biome. Dude, I am so deep. how the hell am I supposed to travel this far, man? What the hell you- how do you- I- I guess- oh, I'm gonna need the exosuit, that's what it is. Whenever the exosuit is complete, that's what I'm gonna need to travel around here. Oh my god, please don't let there be anything in here. Yeah, it's a bunch of spikes around here. Holy shit. Good lord. Okay, there's some lava. Oh, let me drink some water, yeah. Oh, I wonder if there was any other way for me to be able to, uh... Carry around oxygen, that'd be great. Oh, I just realized the seaglide wasn't making any sounds. Oh wow, look! Will this hurt me? I hope not. Nope. <laughs> I think I was told it wouldn't. That's weird. Okay, so we're officially in the inactive lava zone. Officially. We have a little over a minute to explore. This is so nice. Holy shit. This is really cool looking. I can appreciate this. You know, I can appreciate this. Doesn't look like they implemented any monsters. You guys kind of made me feel a little bit safer about doing this. But, uh, again, if I were the devs, I would have just put it in there without telling anybody. Oh, God, what the hell's that? What is that? Okay. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Oh, that's connection. Okay, so that apparently is the castle. You guys probably can't see that. I can barely see it myself. Okay, we have about 48 seconds left. Man, this sucks. I want to explore a little bit more. Dude, I would love to build down here. I would love to build down here. That'd be so awesome. I still want to know what that weird lava thing growing was. It's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Warning, 30 seconds yeah, I know. Plus, the energy in my sea glide is just about out, so it's almost perfect timing. This was awesome. I'm glad we got to explore this. And legitimately, in the survival mode. Not even in, uh, like, creative or anything like that. Okay, let me get back. Warp me. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't... Ah, shit. <laughs> that sucks. I didn't get to... I didn't step back into the Cyclops, so... Shit. Ah, man. I got a long ways to go to get back over there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to have to do that in the next episode. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That was the Lava Zone. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too scary for y'all. It was frightening for me. Anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.